what's going on y'all okay like i had to get that out the way because we are back we are back finally for the new well the continuation of season five this is episode 12 the fallout from war baby listen listen Tyler fucking Perry. I don't care if I curse throughout this whole goddamn um fucking review because I am in my feelings. Like, I deserve to be in my feelings after all of this shit, okay? This episode, this episode was a fucking lot, okay? It was a goddamn lot. I'm sitting here like, wait a goddamn minute. Give me time to breathe. Hold on. Let me catch it. No, no, okay, I'm sitting here like the first 15 fucking minutes, it was a lot, I said, if the first 15 minutes is like this, god damn it, bitch, what's gonna be the next for the next 45 and the rest of this season, do I really have to clutch my pearls and all the things around me just to brace myself for this shit, because god damn, this shit was good as fuck, but I was distraught, like my soul and my spirit has been downtrodden and beaten down just in this episode alone. And then I got to go look at Queen Sugar, like, ugh. Moment of silence again for baby Quincy. It didn't have to be. It just didn't have to be. Like, it's always the innocence and the smallest of the innocents that can't protect themselves who get hurt and caught up in the bullshit of these adults. I just don't understand. I really don't get it. But, you know, Tyler, you had some shit for us. And, um, this is how it played out. It just hurts. You know, it was a child. It was a child. And then you said a bullet hit him in the head. No. No, no, no. But let's get into this. It was just a lot going on this episode, as you already know. Lil' Quincy Jr. is dead. Okay, we're just going to have to put it out there. Lil' Quincy Jr. is dead. He came about that thing. They made sure he wasn't going to come back. They put the, the final moment said he got shot in the goddamn head. Hannah knew her baby life had left his body when she came out that thing. The way that she looked. That wasn't the look of, we should have known that he was dead. Because she didn't come out there saying, oh my God, let's um um get call a doctor, call an ambulance, whatever. She just came out there defeated. She came out there defeated like a parent that knew her child, grandchild, whatever was gone. She just knew it, okay? Benny trying to get the baby. <sighs> he just, Mitch up there, Mitch calling the ambulance or some. Next thing you know, they at the hospital. It was a lot. Benny trying to call Candace. Candace is ignoring his phone call. Bitch, let me just talk about this shit right quick. Candice, <clears throat> you got one more. I get you two. But, bitch, by the third episode into this coming back of this season, bitch, you better be back on your shit, okay? Because you up in that fucking room with that fake-ass bitch that set this shit up on your ass, up there borrowing dresses. You know, she up here asking 21 questions. Hey, bitch, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm here. I thought you was going to be at the fountain drop. You was like, nah, bitch, I'm staying here. Oh, okay, so who there? You know, hmm, you sure you're not staying here? You don't want to stay in my room tonight and all this stuff? You want to do this? Yeah, I've been fucking David and it's cool and all that shit and blah, blah, blah. You, you know, this um wannabe uh, presidential candidate is up in here and all this stuff. You asking too many goddamn questions, okay? She was making it so obvious that she was trying to get the lowdown on what she was going on. And I'm sitting here like trying to look at Candace's face like are you thinking hmm something about this bitch is fishy let me put my alert on or are you just playing with it you know you just falling for the bullshit I could not tell I said Candace you better wake the fuck up I said bitch tag me the fuck in so I can tag rag hold this ass okay cause Erica got one coming that bitch got one fucking coming then she getting text messages and shit you know wow Candace up here looking for the dress and all that stuff um, talking from war saying that the baby is dead. She like, what the fuck? I'm like, yeah, bitch, you help set this shit up. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You have to die. You have to fucking die. Benny calling your ass Candace. You hanging up the goddamn phone. Even fucking 
Erica is like, are you sure you're going to um, not answer the phone when they call and all that shit? And this is after she found out that the son is dead. How is it that a fucking stranger, well, a fucking friend, finds out that your kid is dead before you? Because you won't answer the goddamn phone, bitch. Answer the fucking phone, okay? Listen, I'm mad. I'm mad. I am pissed the fuck off at Candace right now. I don't give a fuck what's going on. It's Benny, okay? It is Benny. Yes, he irked at you. He has every right to be pissed at you. I understand what you was trying to do for the betterment of the family. But you know when you do illegal shit, 9 out of 10 is that shit going to come back on your ass. So you should have been prepared for the type of reaction. But he reaching out to your ass so you should have answered the fucking phone, okay? If anything, just to see what's going on with your child, whether he alive or not. That's what any parent should be doing. Somebody calling, you know your child is in the you know, care of somebody else. Answer the fucking phone. No, you won't answer the phone. You don't want to deal with them. You playing downstairs in the hotel lobby at the bar with Oscar and them. I'm sitting here like this whole conversation that went on between Oscar and um David. They talking about, um, you know, Oscar talking about how um, Jim reached out to him, wanting him to find his son and all that stuff and how difficult it is. You know, because he want to get that money back and all that shit. And he was like, you know, when it's really a straight guy, it's kind of harder to do this. If they was gay, I could just flirt with him a little bit and let them get on my side and then go in for the kill. But, you know, Wyatt, he was like, is Wyatt on that side? David was like, not that I know of. He's like, damn. Next thing you know, here come Jim. Because they over there talking about Erica. And David been out the game so long, so he don't know whether or not... Erica want him or thought he was bad in bed or what the fuck is going on because like Oscar said when he she told you to stop did you stop mid stroke I said bitch where did she drop he said yeah he was like either the bitch playing you either you was so good so big that she couldn't take it no more or she just didn't fucking like it and I said bitch she was playing you but she did like it okay that's all that the fuck it was all right that's what it was then here come Jim all right they talking about the shit Talking about Wyatt and all that stuff. Next thing you know, they spot Candace. All three of them talking about her ass. You know, Jim and Oscar comparing fucking notes about fucking the bitch and saying, basically, Candace got some good kitty, and that's how come they get hooked, okay? And, you know, Candace come over there, and they talking and, you know, trying to size her up, put her business out there in the street that, you know, she fucking this bitch, fucking that bitch, and, you know, she took money from me. She set me up, got me this money. Okay, I took the money back. This dumb bitch didn't kill the motherfucker in her house, and her dumb ass did buried him in the backyard okay who does some stupid shit why would you bury your own the body in the fucking backyard your own backyard oh i can tell you why because you got a nosy ass no neighbor across the street that got some video cameras that's probably trained all up in your yard in the front of your house and probably could have had you on tape so therefore you had to take that bitch to the backyard and was like you know what oscar gonna say who the fuck was it here go jim quincy bitch i said it didn't make me chuckle a little bit. I was <laughs> like, it was just the way he said it. Quincy, bitch. Quincy, last name, bitch. I said, oh, all right. You know, because he had a little run-in with Quincy before, okay? And then uh, Oscar was like, hmm, for real? Candace was like, you damn right, bitch. You had a run-in with him. The same bitch that left me, you left me in the house with after um you tried to attack me and then that bitch tried to kill me. But let me tell you something. It ain't all that. He going to say something, hmm, that nigga kind of big or whatever. He's strong. The, I don't see you taking his ass out. She was like, oh, no, bitch. See, David, why you over there ha, 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 and chuckling? Your son helped me. Bitch, who the fuck what? Yeah, she had practice with um your wife, Titty. Okay, that plastic titty. All right, she he done had um practice on that stuff. Oh, you was a lying ass bitch. Call your son, bitch. Okay, call him. He trying to call and see what the fuck is going on as we saw at the end of the episode mm -hmm, in the hospital. We'll get on them two bitches in a minute. Girl, Jim go over there talking to Candace, rapping to her, talking about some, you know you like this day. I miss you, boo. Come get back on the track. I said, Candace, if you fall for this bullshit, you've been played enough in the last season and a half, and I am goddamn tired of it. Bring Candace King back, okay? Bring that bitch back. 
That's what I want. And she said, bitch, I'm not finna play with you right about now. All right. He was like, don't you want something sweet and salty and she and, and, and bitter and all that stuff? You know you like that taste. She said, bitch, first of all, your shit was sour as fuck. I said, are we talking about sperm? So, Tyler, this is like I wrote some shit like this because I'm a I'm filthy. Okay. I'm like... What graphic um hood novel you been reading? Okay, like, you just, you going there. Because you sure enough went there with Veronica, bitch. And I'm going to get on that hole in a second. But let me just get this shit out the way. And, um, you know, she walked away like, bitch, I ain't fucking with you, okay? I'm not finna fall for your trap this time. And when she said that, now, y'all put that in the comments. And y'all tell me because, at, uh, once again, I cannot tell because it can go either way. Either Jim really wanted to take her upstairs and fuck her because he was like, bitch, you ain't got nowhere else to go. Mind you, Candace and I already told Erica, it's like she's um having deja vu. She back at square one, ain't got shit else. Okay, she don't got nothing. She got a uh, uh, hustle to get her um her bread back up. So, he telling her, bitch, just come up to my hotel room and let me fuck your brains out. I'm sitting here like... I mean, she do need a place to stay, but then again, she really don't. She going, you know, she got the president, um, you know, want to be president up there. But, Jim, are you really trying to fuck her over, fuck her over? Because we already, t you already said the pictures that she had of you, they all at the cops. And, you know, she ain't got no more leverage and all that stuff. It was like Jim was trying to shook her, okay? Trying to shake her, whatever, make her shook a little bit. But it didn't really work from what we saw or what I saw unless she was hiding that shit undercover. You know what I'm saying? So I'm still trying to figure out whether or not Jim was trying to play her and, and actually get her in bed and then set her up again. And Candy said, bitch, please, I saw right through that bullshit. Or did he really just want to fuck her because he missed the puss? I'm confused. You know, y'all tell me what y'all felt about that. Well, could it be both? It could be both. It could be both. Okay, you know, what's the half and half now? He just knocked out. Um, because he walked away and he's going to say, damn. I said, yeah, damn, you fucked up. You fucked up. <laughs> Everybody in this situation is fucked up. Oh, Wyatt. Let me get this little bitch out the way. Wyatt is in pain. I'm in pain. I'm in pain. F, we all got pain, okay? No, bitch, I'm in pain. I said, Wyatt, take your ass to the goddamn hospital. You heard the doctor or whatever the fuck that was. He gonna say, I gave him stuff that would have knocked this out enough for a couple of people. I said, damn, Wyatt, your body that addicted? You know, they got to convince him to take him to the hospital, so they get ready to do that shit. Move along from that, back at the hospital, <sighs> Hannah. <clears throat> Hannah and Benny are just sitting there. And I was sitting there like at first. I said, wait a minute. So look, Quincy got through it. Oh, my God, that is so great. But no, that's not what happened. And I was like in shock for the first 15 minutes of this show. When it was dealing with all of that. But then when it got to this scene, my eyes kind of started sweating a little bit. Because, you know, it's been hot outside and all that shit. The atmosphere. And it's just fucking with me and all that shit, you know. So, I'm just sitting here like. Woo! You know what I'm saying? Because Hannah. Give Hannah an award. Okay? Give her an award. Give that lady an award. And Benny, let me tell you something. Benny did some of the best acting that he's ever done on this whole fucking series. Because I felt that. I felt that shit in this scene. He was trying to talk to Hannah. Mama, give me your phone. Mama, mama, Hannah is just sitting there in shock, okay? She is just defeated, depleted, downhearted, uh, uh, trodden, everything. She is just, she just don't have nothing else to give. She is just over it, okay? And you can just see like the life is draining out of her. She is just hurt. That is a hurt that I would never ever want to see. You know, and my grandma, that's, oh my God, that's what she reminded me of. That's probably why it hurt me so much because when my grandma found out her baby boy passed away, oh my God, it was just a lot. It was just a lot. It was just a lot. And I just envisioned and then in the hospital, oh, it was just a lot. It was just a fucking lot. And they said, now, I said, damn, y'all ain't going to offer her no place to go wash up and give her some, you know, a T-shirt or something from the gift shop. Hannah ain't even washed the blood off her hand yet. 
Hannah still got the fucking drywall from the goddamn hotel in the back of her head and all in her bun and her braid and everything. Like, it was just like, I said, girl, Hannah was doing a damn thing. Bitch, usually I can't stand Hannah because she be all the way on her uppity, holier than thou shit. But this is the one, like, her spirit is so broken. Her spirit was so broken. And she, this, the, Crystal Fox, she put that out there. And I am so here for this thing i was just sitting there like oh no oh no baby don't make me cry but you did a little bit i was just benny finally got that phone and she he called um catherine catherine was like hannah and cat um uh, he was like oh miss crying she said bitch who the fuck is this i said wait a minute catherine went from being concerned to being rude a little bit who was this i said girl it had to be Benny. It's on her phone. And it was like, what's going on? It was like, this, this, this Hannah's son, Benny. I mean, I spit a nephew died. I said, oh, no. That's when I broke. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God, Benny. Benny. You know, I was just feeling it. I was feeling, I just felt so sad for him. I felt so bad because it just felt so real. I mean, when you've been in situations like that, I mean, I ain't been in no goddamn shootout, but when you lost somebody and you, you know, it, it just, oh, it just brings it back. So, she was like, okay, I'm going to come down to the hospital, bitch. I said, Catherine is trying to be that good friend, okay? I said, come through. Come through. You're going to get up in the middle of the fucking night for your friend. And then she goes sit back down trying to talk to um Hannah. And she was like, you know, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you that this girl was nothing but trouble and that's all that she was going to bring? Look at what happened. They done took my motherfucking baby. That baby has been through so much, okay? This baby was born with an illness. This baby had neglect, child abuse, okay, sickness. Then he got shot the fuck up and then he went out in the worst way by getting killed by some stray bullets that wasn't even meant for him. Bitch, ain't that some shit? You know, she was just broken. And it just seemed like, I said, oh my God, this is going to make that relationship between her and Candace even more strained. I don't know. I feel like she still has love for her daughter, but it's diminishing. And it feel like it's about to make um, um, her heart go cold again. You know, Hannah used to be out there thotting, bopping around. Then all of a sudden she came back to the church and now she's on this holier than thou trip. And it seems like she's about to lose her faith. Because he was like, won't you pray with me or something like that? And she was like, I don't, I, you know, talking to God, I ain't got nothing to talk about. I don't have nothing to say or something like that. I don't know if she said that in this episode or was that in the preview for next week. But bitch, it was a lot. It struck a chord. It struck a chord because when people when go through shit like this, sometimes they, they do lose faith. Like, why would God do something like that? I mean, you do question it, but you shouldn't. But... It's only a natural thing to do, you know, but that just hurt me. Benny about to go. He go over there to Mitch. He just breaks the fuck down. I'm going to kill that nigga. I'm going to kill that nigga. Nigga, kill my motherfucking nephew. Bitch, all of a sudden, Mama Malone and the crew come through. Mitch was like, ain't this about a bitch? What the fuck you got her here for? What you mean what I got her here for? When I hear that my brother got shot at, what the fuck you thought I'm going to do? I said, oh, shit. Mama Malone said, bitch, who the fuck is it? Who the fuck is it? Because Benny was already on the same train, okay? He said, I'm finna go find this nigga, and I'm finna fuck him up. He bout to die. Mama Malone said, no. Even though I'm sorry that your little nephew had got uh, shot up, I really don't care about that. What I care about is the fucking fact that they shot at my boy. Okay, so what you won't do is shot at, uh, shoot it or do nothing to a fucking Malone. She got on that phone and said, find that motherfucker, because Benny said his name is Warwick Lewis, okay? Do you want me to spell it out? I can tell you, and bitch, you want me to go to the projects where he, um, at with you? Okay, she walked down that hallway and said, bitch, find that motherfucker. Kill everything in sight. Mama, kiss, all that shit, because what you won't fucking do is fuck with him alone. I said, ooh, okay, we mad. Neither let's get into this bullshit that is Veronica fucking Harrington. If we ain't already had enough shit going on. We got to deal with this evil bitch. Now, I'm usually here for some of her antics because it'd be funny. Okay? But this part, Veronica was just beyond cruel. 
and beyond evil. And I was like, Jeffrey, bitch, if you don't want to handle this the way that you need to handle it because that's your mama, okay, you still feel a little tied to her, whatever, bitch, tag me the fuck in, your turn, and let me think, 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 that bitch, okay, because she's just doing too fucking much at this point, too fucking much. Melissa up in that bed, bleeding her ass out, okay, and I'm sitting here like, Damn, Jeffrey called 911. So he finally called 911. Y'all saw how stutter slow he was um running to get the towel and stuff. I said, speed that shit up, bitch. Speed it up. You know, she didn't lost half of blood all on the bed and you just slowly running. I said, girl, come on now. He calling for the mama. She finally get up and was like, what the fuck this dumb bitch do? I said... Dumb bitch. This girl called this girl a dumb bitch. Was slapping her in her face. Why would you do something like this, you ignorant bitch? I should have got another girl. I should have got somebody else. This ignorant bitch and all this stuff. He was like, her daddy just died. Well, the bitch had cancer. What the fuck you thought he was going to do? I said... And now this dumb bitch is sitting here bleeding out on my $1,100 uh, sheets. I said, that's why you really mad. He was like, if my grandchild go, bitch, you better um hope you die because I'm going to kill your ass. She was like, die, bitch. Die, bitch. I said, what a fucking minute is going on. Veronica was doing too fucking much. Now, even I, you know, I chuckle at some of Veronica's shit, but, bitch, she crossed the fucking line. She was doing way too fucking much, and at this point, it was not even fucking funny. I said, you are such a heartless bitch. You know, he was. she was telling uh, Jeffrey to shut up and all this stuff. And then Jeffrey hollered at her and said, no, you shut the fuck up. She said, bitch, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who are you talking to? She was like, I'm talking to you, bitch. That's who the fuck I'm talking to. If you ever holler at me, bitch, what you gonna do? You ain't gonna do a goddamn thing. Okay? They finally get her ass to the hospital. Jeffrey sit down there waiting. Veronica finally come in there after she get her shit together. You know, she going over there, talking to the nurse, trying to see what's going on. Um, if the girl, she only care about the grandbaby. She don't care about Melissa, okay? And she threatening the nurse because the nurse is doing nothing but doing her job. She said the doctor isn't there yet. You know, he's busy with somebody else. You got to wait for an update. She threatening to get this girl fired just because... She can't get a doctor right in and there. Oh, she throwing her name and stuff around. I know the head of this hospital and all this stuff. I said, how fucking dare you? They're going to go over there to sit by Jeffrey. Mind you, Jeffrey is in a seat next to a table. And on his opposite side of Jeffrey, it's a chair literally right there. It's two seats, a table, two seats. It was a white lady sitting right there on the opposite side of that table. And Jeffrey was sitting on the other side. Do you think Veronica going to sit by Jeffrey that close proximity? No. She going to tell that lady to get up. I need to sit by my son. The lady looked at her and got the fuck up. Then when she go sit by Jeffrey, Veronica sat in that seat. And she going to look at the lady and going to say something. Um, it's a whole bunch of other fucking seats here, okay? But you want to sit here? This is a private conversation between me and my son. You can go sit elsewhere. I said, bitch, you could have sat next to him. And this bitch got the fuck up. I said it wouldn't have been my big ass. I would have planted and said, bitch, move me. Move me, bitch. Let me tell you something. You came from the fucking south side of fucking Chicago, and I'm going to remind you what we do out here, bitch, okay? You must have forgot. You done came down here to fucking Savannah-ass Georgia and lost your goddamn mind, bitch, okay? What the fuck? No, we ain't finna do no shit like that. But, oh, girl, the white girl, wanna, she wasn't trying to have those problems, okay? I said, girl, you already in the hospital. Cameras around the project. They, they can, you know, back up your story if something pop off, you know. Just scream, oh, my God, she attacked me. You know, just do something like that. I mean, you know, but don't just get in here so easily. She knew the right one to try. And she come into her, you know, just being rude. Jeffrey was like, damn, you know, you still being a rude-ass bitch and all this stuff. Of course, they going back and forth about shit. You know, she going to say, she called up Rosita, the, the, um, the maid, to come. And clean up the shit the next day. Well, they said, that is my day off and I'm not coming in. She said, well, bitch, you won't have, because she had a birthday or something to go through. She was like, well, you won't have to miss it if you come in right now. And all you need to do is to clean around the shit. Don't touch the bed and all that stuff. She was like, I got to get on the bus. What about the bus? Bitch, fuck a bus. Come on in. Okay, she going to say something. 
she complained about a bus coming at 4 o'clock in the morning. I mean, you better be glad you got a job. Who does that? That's what Jeffrey said. You know, you can't stop being a bitch for nothing, huh? I said, no, she can't. And then that's when um his daddy called him, asking what's going on. And she, he telling her, telling him what was going on and all that stuff. And he go, Veronica, is that your daddy? Is he coming down here? Oh, my God, I think that's good. <laughs> Let me fix my makeup and all that stuff. Because if I go to court with bags on in my eyes because of this bitch, I'm going to fuck that hoe up. I said, you know what? Veronica, go eat, go some fucking where. I was just really taken aback by how cruel this bitch was. Like, she was really cruel. And we already knew it, but damn, Veronica, you ain't got a heart nowhere to spare. Anybody want to buy a heart? Not you. Not you. I don't want yours. I don't want yours. Okay? And then Catherine popped the fuck up at the same goddamn hospital. Everybody is at the same fucking hospital. And she was like, oh, Veronica. And next week, I want Catherine to my... I really want Catherine to beat that bitch ass. I want... Catherine, you should have killed her when you had the chance, okay? That was the halves and the half night. It was a good-ass episode. I'm finna go watch My Baby Daddy on Queen Sugar. Y'all better tune the fuck in, okay? That review will be up when that show goes fucking off. And y'all better tune in tomorrow, too. Listen, I will see y'all later. Peace.